Well, there is a promising new partnership between two of Colorado's most popular industries, craft beer and cannabis. Innovative new technology will benefit both brewers and growers while helping protect Colorado's environment. Dominic Garcia got a closer look at the process today. So, Dom, explain to us how this is all going to work. Karen, I will try and simplify this because I needed them to simplify it for me. But basically, this is where the beer is made. And before CO2 would just be released into the air, it is now going to be recaptured by these tubes, saved and eventually used to help grow marijuana. In Colorado, it should be no surprise that cannabis and craft beer are teaming up. It's an absolutely natural partnership for a Colorado craft brewery to be working with a Colorado cannabis company. Charlie Berger is the co-founder of the Denver Beer Company. They'll be capturing excess carbon dioxide made during beer fermentation that will then go to the clinic and help grow marijuana. Our CO2 is a, sort of like a fertilizer for a plant. Plants use sunlight and they use CO2 to grow. They were always using CO2, but now they're using it from a local source, from a Colorado craft brewery. If we didn't use this program, we'd be using manufactured carbon dioxide shipped across the country on a truck, which has a much larger carbon footprint. With this new technology, the brewery is expected to capture more than 100,000 pounds of carbon dioxide. We are the first that we know of to be capturing CO2 from beer and using it to grow marijuana. Charlie says the best part of this, his business is not only a part of the community, but is now supporting that community. We're recapturing our CO2. It's a really cool thing for breweries our size to be able to do. We're utilizing a new technology. So here is the technology that is making this all possible. The guys here at the Denver Beer Company hope other breweries this size will follow suit and start doing the same thing. In Denver, Dominic Garcia covering Colorado First.